Hello, everybody. Yes, you read the title right. Today, I will be reviewing possibly the first on YouTube actual review of the Funko Glitch Trap FNAF plush. Yes, I have one. Yes, he is rare. And yes, there is only one other post besides mine on all of YouTube. And yes, this is possibly the first video evidence of this plushie. So, I'm going to get into some of my favorite things and some other things I do not like, but I really am excited to show you guys this awesome plushie. And I'll, gi I'll give you my response on if you should buy him at the end of the video. So anyways, yes, uh, I, I have this. And one thing about him is he is a big boy. He is not the size of a normal FNAF plush. Here is just Golden Freddy compared to a glitch trap. Yeah, no, glitch trap is big. It has come to many people's beliefs that this guy was supposed to have an 8 inch version in the Curse of Dreadbear wave, but uh, I personally actually don't believe that because this guy is way too high quality, besides Dreadbear, to be in that wave. All the other characters were almost full printing, like Grim Voxy, Jacko Bonnie, and Jacko Chica. They had way too much printing. This guy's only printing is his ears. He only has printing in his ears. And to be honest, it makes sense. They did that with Dreadbear. His stitches, most of them were not sewn in. Some were, but a lot of them were actually just printed on. So, I think... That, there is a little part of me that does believe he was in Dreadbear's wave because of this, but I do not believe that, really. Another thing is, you may have noticed, they didn't do the normal glitch trap mouth. They actually decided to give him a closed mouth, and honestly, I think that works way better on um a plushie, because his normal mouth was horrifying. Another thing is, his bow tie is made out of a completely different material than we see... Than we see we've seen on any other FNAF plushie ever made. He also has embroidered buttons. Thank God! Leave the Choco Bunny, Bunny buttons behind. Never do printing buttons again. Like, you, you, like, thank God they went back to this formula. And I think I have my Toy Bonnie here to show as well. Oh, wait, they didn't do buttons because I forgot this Toy Bonnie. Never mind. Anyways, so yes, they did do embroidery on him. One problem is he has the wrong shade. This is not supposed to be this bright. But I actually kind of like it, to be honest. Here's one of my favorite details about the plushie. Let me flip him. We actually got a bunny tail on a bunny plushie again. Well, bunny plush. Thank God, we actually got another bunny tail. We also got his coat, which is actually very nice. It's made out of the same material that the f old Freddy's hats and bow ties are made out of. But yeah. Also, if you want confirmation of this being real besides the other tag, yeah, there's this. So yeah, this plushie is, like, one of my favorites right now. I know that just may be recency bias talking, but I think he looks very goofy. I'm very happy to have him in my collection, and to possibly be the first person to own this. Because I actually made my post before people started talking about this guy. And there's still not much talk about him. To be honest, there is not much. Finding info on this guy is very hard. So, yeah. I am praying all of you can get this guy because he is very goofy. And yes, you just heard what I said. I do think you should buy this. He is actually... This is Canadian, so he's even cheaper in America. He was $30. So, if you're in America, that's probably like $25. For a 16-inch FNAF plush, that is not bad at all. Like, I have two other... Well, no, three other 16 inches. And to be honest, besides the old Freddy and Foxy 16 inches, which I do have, this guy's definitely the best one, I think, that you can buy for um the uh, Jumbos. So, yeah, he is very goofy. Buy him if you can. He's awesome. And another detail I forgot to say is it might be hard to notice, but they did put the stars on his coat. They are very hard to notice. There, there. Now you can notice them. See? That's why I did this for some reason. I don't know. Yep. Anyways, that's the end of the video. And yeah, go buy this guy.